I'm just going to do my last increase on either side and then we will get ready to do the foot of the sock. And what's nice when you start to have a toe is you can put that little end in there and then you're only dealing now with two ends. See? I told you it was going to get easier, right? So we're going to put our yarn in there. And remember, like I said before, you want to give that a good tug because you're making that seam along the edge of your toe. So knit in the front, knit in the back. And like I said, feel free to use a make one left, make one right if you like. I'm just doing this for convenience. The knit front and back. Because I just want you to learn the steps to doing the socks, the construction of the sock, just to get a good overview. And then you can go back and tweak it to your liking. Okay, and one more. Oh, I always do that. There's the last stitch, front and back. And there we go. Now we have 16 stitches on each side. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knit five rounds. To keep track of the total number of rounds that you've knit for your foot from your toe, you can just take this marker off like this. And then you can put it right there and that starts the beginning of the round for your foot and it also tells you that this is the front of your sock. Well, I'm just going to do five rounds of easy knitting, sorry for the clanging there, and what's nice is now those ends are tucked in and we can just go ahead and continue to knit five rounds. Just give that good first stitch a nice snug. And, and there you go. And just keep knitting. I have knit five rounds for the foot. I say that with quotation marks because we're just doing a tiny sock. And now what we're going to do is start our heel. So we are going to knit across the instep stitches and then we will do our increases on the back of the foot. So I'm just going to pull these up here. Get them situated. There's my yarn. And now we will knit across. Let me just, there we go. That way I can look over my phone at my knitting. And then we're just going to knit across. So if you were doing a adult sock, I like to do 64 stitches. So. At this point, I would have 32 on each sock on the instep stitches. But right now we're just doing a sample sock so that you can learn steps. And these needles that I'm using are US 6, uh, four millimeter. And I'm using DK weight yarn if you want to join along and knit with big yarn and big needles to start. And then I'm going to grab my next yarn and always, you know, you want to pull on that stitch so you don't have any ladders in between. So just give that a good tug 
knit that stitch, tug again, knit the next stitch, and then you're good to go across. Coming up to the last stitch, we're going to turn our work, we're going to pull that cord, get our back of our sock lined up, and I know it's the back because there's no marker back here, and now we're going to do our increases. To start our increases now on the heel side of the sock, we are going to do a make one left and a make one right. So I'm going to do a make one right on this side and a make one left on that side and then repeat it on this sock as well. Make one right, make one left. So to do that, we are going to knit this first stitch. And then I'm just going to zoom in here for you. So now what we're going to do is a make one right. So what you want to do is you want to, you see this bar right there? You want to go in from the back like that. And then what you're going to do is knit in that stitch. So I find this is difficult. So what I like to do is I like to just Put my needle in, pull, hold my index finger there, let it out, go back in this way, and then do my make one left. And then I continue to knit across my heel. I'll just keep doing that. I will zoom out again. I'm just going to wait till I get to the other side to show you the make one right. And now we're ready to do the make one right. And the make one right is easy. Because all you do is you go back here like this and then you knit into that stitch. And there you go. It's leaning right. And then you knit one. Now we're at the second sock and we will do the same thing. So we are going to knit that first stitch. And like again, just give that a good pull. Like that. And now we're going to do a make one left and I'll just zoom in here for you so you can see. There we go. So we're going to again put our needle in from the back like this. I'll do that again. I got out of focus there. So we're going to put our needle in from the back like this. And then we knit in that stitch. But what I like to do as I'm just going here, I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit and knit into that stitch. But what I like to do is I like to just put my needle in like that, pull on that towards me, and then that creates a, a loop. See that? A loose loop like that. And then I can come around and put my needle in quite nicely 
and then knit that stitch. And there's a make one left. Now we will continue. Cross, and then we'll do a make one right. Just gonna adjust my camera here a little bit. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do a make one left. So we're gonna put our yarn, our needle in that ladder that's going in between those two stitches. And then we're simply just gonna knit through the back of that stitch. And knit one. So there we go, we've done our first set of increases along the back of the sock. We're gonna turn our work and we know it's the front because we've got this marker here. And we're gonna line up our stitches. And now we're on an even round. So we're just gonna knit around all the way, come back here, and then you're going to knit across here, turn your work, do a make one right, a make one left, and then a make one right, and a make one left. And that's what you will do until you get to um, 32, or sorry, 30 stitches on each sock, on the back of each sock. And then we will start doing our heel turn. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy this next uh, video, second video in the series. And I will see you back here when we turn our heels.